What's up world? Thanks for jumping in for another ride. I thought we'd do a quick upgrade on the 2016 Ford F-150 and swap out those stock halogen third brake lights and cargo lights for some LEDs. I don't know how this is going to go. Pick these up off Amazon, but let's find out. Okay, so I picked these up off of Amazon and this was an Amazon choice item and these were not given to me in any capacity. So this is not a brand deal in any way. I actually paid for these directly out of my pocket and they are made by a company called IJDMToy.com LED series. And if you follow this channel for any length of time, you know that anytime we test parts, I always like to go ahead and point out. And this one does have our favorite three words on it, made in China. I know that's not the end of the world, but I always like to point that out because, well, it seems like manufacturing is a lost art in the U.S. So I always like to try and give some incentive to anything that we can pick up that is made in the U.S. and support our economy. I'm in for it. So with that said, these are basically just a T10 replacement bulb, and I think I only need one of them in the middle for that third brake light, but it does include two red, and it does include the two white for the outer cargo light, so we're going to swap those out. And for this job, we are just going to need a T20 Torx bit. And you could obviously use a dedicated Torx bit for this, or you could use a quarter inch drive ratchet with a socket like I have here. My personal choice, I always like to use something like a nut driver or screwdriver handle. And it just prevents any sort of over torquing or anything because once that plastic gets aged and it's been out in the sun, it is really prone to cracking. And with a screwdriver handle, it is really hard to do it. So just a screwdriver or nut driver handle and a T20 Torx is all we're going to need for this. And now I'm definitely not an automobile lighting expert by any stretch of the imagination. There is some absolutely super cool channels out there if you just do some exploring. These guys have all kinds of dedicated equipment for lux meters and different ways of test. But that is definitely not me. Um, I'm going to just use a cheap set of nitrile gloves to keep my dirty hands and oils off of the LEDs. That way there is no premature degradation or anything like that that I'm taking a chance of. And other than that, really quick, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the cargo lights. We'll go ahead and turn on the brake lights and we'll take a look at that with the lights off. So I've got this actually set up inside of my garage in the house. That way you can see that I do have blinds and shades on all the windows and it is nighttime. So before we get those swapped out, I'm going to jump in the truck. We'll go ahead and turn on the cargo lights and that third brake light. We'll go ahead and take a look at it with the lights out. And what I'm really curious about personally is primarily those cargo lights because those halogens put off a pretty dim not fantastic yellow light and anybody that watches this channel and our sister channel countryside adventures please go check it out if you hadn't seen it knows that my son and i do a lot of archery hunting bow hunting hiking camping things like that and so light is always a premium and not so the cargo lights are what i'm really excited about to check out we got a brake light out And there is the halogen cargo light. And well, looks like my third brake light had gone out. So it's time to swap it out. I'm going to rotate this around to the back side so you can see it. And so these plugs, they just rotate about 40 degrees. Rotate, and then they should just carefully pull out of the socket. So once it's out, go ahead and pull. Once it's out, very carefully, the bulb just pulls directly out of that socket. Let that hang there and be very easy with it. Go ahead and grab our first clear bulb. And just push it back in and then reinstall. Just goes into those slots. Again, twist it back into place and just repeat that step. So we're going to go back to the middle here so we can get our third brake light and that light was definitely out. I can see black spots on the bulb. So that one was definitely out on us. So let's get our red and that third brake light replaced. And 
and our last clear for our cargo. And there we go. And again, tie it up, push that bulb right in, feed it through, line up those tabs. We're going to turn it back about 40 degrees. And then our wiring is all loomed up in there. And we're just going to let it sit right up inside. Now as we're putting our lens cover back on here, remember that these T10 bulbs, they are directional. So if one of your bulbs doesn't come on when you put it in, don't forget you can just pull that bulb out and just clock it 180 degrees. So just flip it over and reinstall it into the uh, receptacle, into the socket. And it should come on. As long as the bulb's good, it'll come on. So if you put it in and it doesn't come on, definitely not the end of the world. Just flip it around and it should come on no problem because those posts are directional on those lights. It's very common for that to happen. And it's really not a big deal. So let's get this thing put back together. And I'm curious to see how this thing looks. I'm really glad we did this now because, well, I had a third brake light out. So I've gone ahead and put all the screws in. And I didn't tighten any of them up. I just got them down to where basically they were touching the lens until I got all four in. That way I didn't have to try to line anything up. With the, uh, with the screws being tight. Now I'm just gonna go back through, kind of do a, a final torque, tighten these down, and make sure that I get my lens filled up against the cab good so I don't get any kind of wind or rainwater or car wash water penetration on top of the cab. I'm just gonna do it once over on these. All right, let's test this out. See how they look, I'm curious. That is a much brighter, cleaner white than those old incandescent bulbs. So very cool. I'm happy with that so far. All right, so that was a quick and simple upgrade to the 2016 Ford F-150's cargo lights. And what well, joke's on me, I made an item for the third brake light because, well, I hadn't even noticed it was out. So glad to get that fixed. Now, I'll go ahead and leave an affiliate link down in the description below. You can go ahead and click on any of those links for either the lights, tools, whatever supplies you may need to get this job done. And again, it's just a T10 bulb replacement. There is a million applications for that bulb. So go ahead and check that out if you're looking for any kind of lighting upgrade for a truck, SUV, whatever it may be with a T10 bulb. So, so far so good with these. And I'll go ahead and try to update this as we go along, let you know how they do long term. So seriously, thank you very much for watching. Please do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, check out another video. And as always, jump in for another ride.